हेलो एवरी वन आई एम बैक हियर विद न्यू टॉपिक दट इज सामान्य चिकित्सा सिद्धांत मीन्स जनरल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इन चिल्ड्रन सो हैज वी आर डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रन दट इज पीडियाट्रिक टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो वॉट इज द सामान्य प्रकृति एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीज कॉज इन अ चिल्ड्रन एंड वॉट आर द कॉजेस फॉर द कॉजिंग ऑफ द और कंप्लेन्ट्स ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन राइट सो वी शुड नो द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ डिजीजेस हाउ दे विल कॉज एंड टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस विथ देयर ट्रीटमेंट हाउ टू ट्रीट देयर डिजीज इन अ बेसिक वे ओके सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल कम टू नो वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस एंड हाउ द रूट कॉज वॉट आर द रूट कॉज फॉर द डिजीजेस एंड वॉट आर द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इन चिल्ड्रन सो आई डिवाइडेड दिस टॉपिक इन टू वेज दट इज इन फर्स्ट दिस वीडियो आई एल से द टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस एंड हाउ वी शुड ट्रीट दैम बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल गो फॉर द डिटेल स्टडी ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट हाउ यू शुड ट्रीट दी चिल्ड्रन बट फॉर पर्टिकुलर डिजीजेस ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीजेस एंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट so first of all these rogas that is the diseases are classified into seven types not only in children uh, in general whole body the diseases are uh, divided in seven types that is seven folds of classification of roga according to its root cause uh, it is explained by acharya sushruta what are those diseases adi bala pravritti janma bala pravritti दोष बल प्रवृत्ति संघात बल प्रवृत्ति काल बल प्रवृत्ति दैव बल प्रवृत्ति एंड स्वभाव बल प्रवृत्ति सो दीस आर् सवेन क्लासीफिकेशन आफ् डिजीजस् इन दीज दि कैटगरी आफ् डिजीज विल बी प्रेजेंट ओके सो वाट इज दि आदि बल प्रवृत्ति विल सी विल सी इन डीटेल दट ईज सहज रोगा सहज रोगा मीन Uh, nothing but may be due to congenital disorders uh, the disease caused due to congenital disorders are known as adi bala pravritti example we can take kushta or harshyas okay then next is janma bala pravritti janma bala pravritti means garbhaja rogas uh, may be congenital some congenital disorders due to infections in the uh, gestational age or may be hereditary disorders are known as janma bala pravritti the hereditary is nothing but the disease which pass from the ancestors to offsprings new generation okay next is dosha bala pravritti dosha bala pravritti means nothing but jataja rogas jataja rogas means uh, may be due to vitiation of doshas that is the disease originating after having mitya ahara and vihara if you uh, if you didn't maintain the ahara vihara correctly due to mitya ahara and vihara caused diseases are known as dosha bala pravritti example may be jwara rakta pitta uh, like like this uh, de- diseases and uh, next one is sanghata bala pravritti sanghata bala pravritti means peeda krutha rogas peeda krutha rogas means the traumatic disorders this can be birth injuries or injuries at its consequence after birth may be some external injuries uh, may be or traumatic disorders are known as sanghata bala pravritti due to external uh, some uh, injuries is known as sanghata bala pravritti and next one is kala bala pravritti kala bala pravritti means kala jarogas may be Uh, we can say seasonal diseases that is uh, for example in rainy season due to cold weather if you follow mitya ahara vihara you will get cold cough right and in summer you will get some dehydration or uh, pitta jarogas like acidity something these all are kala bala pravritti next one is daiva bala pravritti means prava prabhavaja rogas here uh, there is no any uh, conspicuous nidana for this uh, um, daiva bala pravritti uh, we can say that is psychic disorders maybe 
some manasika rogas we can add here has daiva bala pravritti and uh, last one is swabhava bala pravritti swabhava bala pravritti means swabhavaja rogas means these all are particular not rogas but uh, they are the signs and symptoms like hunger thirst sleep these all are just complaints but they are not diseases right they are swabhavika swab by prakriti are inner built only swabhavika we will get thirst we will get uh, sleep we will get hunger right so these all are uh, comes under the swabhava bala pravritti that is swabhavaja rogas so these all are the uh, types of diseases caused and uh, in these seven uh, classification folds there are categories of diseases uh, which occur in a body so in those seven types of diseases first the adibala pravritti and second janma bala pravritti diseases can be termed as congenital disorders and hereditary um, disorders okay as we saw in the explanation also these both are termed as uh, congenital disorders and hereditary disorders and uh, next is our acharya charaka explained in uh, charaka samhita uh, the reasons for these disorders as we saw the seven types of classification of disorders the reason he explained in drots praktam the nidana and samprapti has bijatma karmashaya kala doshai matustata ahara vihara doshaihi kurvanti dosha vividanni dushtaha sansthana varnendriya vaikrutani means the main nidana and samprapti for these diseases disorders he explained has maybe the bija dosha bija dosha means arthava or uh, bija dosha that is sperm or ovum doshas atma karma dosha that is effects of hereditary transmissions and ashaya dosha due to defective environment in the womb ashaya <coughs> ashaya nothing but uterus and kala dosha dosha in relation with time of conception to the total confinement and mithya ahara and vihara of the mother in the pregnancy these all are the main uh, causes for the disorders in a children not only in children in everyone I mean, these are the main causes for the formation of the disease in a body by explained by acharya charaka so as we saw what all the types of diseases caused in a body and uh, main nidana for that disorders right then next we will see chikitsa siddhanta that is guidance of pediatric therapeutics how we should uh, the principles to treat the diseases in a children it is based on two headings like understanding the disease of a children and application of therapeutics here uh, by name only we can guess that understanding the diseases of a children means first of all we should understand the pattern of a disease in a children uh, by which vitiation of doshas it caused and uh, how the samprapti is and specially the age of a children because in children in different ages the different diseases will be caused and uh, next is application of therapeutics means uh, after understanding the disease how we should apply the therapeutics that is maybe the aushadis medicines uh, oral medicines or no uh, maybe the therapeutics like panchakarma procedures how we should apply on a uh, child or a patient we should understand so uh, we'll see this both points in a detail so first point is understanding the diseases of children our acharya charaka explained in charaka samhita chikitsa sthana 30 chapter has dosa dushya malas chaiva mahatam ंग टू Mm, body uh, compared to adults 
our acharya kashyapa also said uh, in while explaining the diseases and treatment of children uh, like yada alpa dehasya tada alpam alpam yada annapana aushadam alpam alpam means has the body structure will be alpa in a children so all dosha dushya mala everything will be alpa compared to adult so the ahara medicines whatever we have to give for children it should be in alpha form only it is explained by kashyapa so uh, by by comparing the shlokas we can say that the clinical presentation of the children will be in the form of uh, uh, complaints right because they can't explain everything clearly we have to understand their uh, response that the uh, stimulus to the response and uh, we should uh, understand their uh, activities and we have to uh, diagnose it so uh, the diagnosis in a children disease diagnosis is very difficult and uh, even among children with similar dosha dosha involvement the nature of diseases varies according to age and uh, the clinical skill of physician should be highly component uh, enough for performing darshana sparshana and prashna pariksha in children because as they are with dosha dushya mala alpata and vak cheshta um, vak cheshta your asamarthyam means they can't speak they can't say you directly that i am getting this this complaints like adult so you have to understand the Mm, nature and response of the children and you have to diagnose the uh, tra- disease so overall uh, in children for diagnosis of the correct disease uh, we have to be perfect in their um, changes and uh, everything uh, a- according to age what all changes will be present in a children and according to age which disease are dominant in their body we have to be perfect so that we can diagnose correctly the correct disease our next point is application of therapeutics means application of treatment in a children firstly we have to keep one thing in mind while prescribing the medicines for children that is especially the dosage nothing but posology the dosage of medicines in a children should be according to their weight and according to age because in if we uh, advise high dose of uh, medicines it may be causing side effects for the children so first of all we have to prescribe the medicines according to the age of a child that should be kept in mind and administration of shodhana drugs should be avoided up to the possible limit because the shodhana drugs may cause side effects for the children because of alpha uh, bala because they will be having alpha bala they can't tolerate the shodhana drugs so uh, we have to avoid the shodhana drugs for the possible limits and uh, in such emergency conditions we can advise shodhana drugs in limited uh, alpha form and uh, moreover all the cases should be treated with the samana aushadis in a children and it is better to use uh, drugs of madhura rasa which are usually of mruduvirya and the most ideal therapeutic form of kshirapam because we have to see the palpability of the uh, drugs also while advising the children they can't have all types of tastes right so madhura rasa is the very uh, good, uh, good choice for the treatment of a children uh, especially while uh, prescribing the medicines and uh, some pharmacodynamic properties of drugs are unsuitable for pediatrics those are uh, all types of drugs will not suit for the children right some pharmacodynamic which are unsuitable are atisnigdam atiruksham uh, atyushnam katu vipakam and atigurutvam these all pharmacodynamic properties are unsuitable for the children because if we ad- advise atisnigda uh, it may take kapha prakopa in a children and uh, atirukshya may impair growth and development and atiushna uh, are intolerable in children and uh, they are the cause for the dhatu paka and uh, katu vipaka may cause vidaha in children and atigurutvam may cause ajirna in children so these types of drugs are 
contraindicated in treatment of childrens and the patya apatya are uh, followed same as adult in children also and uh, the shodhan of dhatri is to be performed when the kshiradha and kshira annada childrens are diseased because has they will be having breast milk due to vitiation of stanya also they may get the disease right so shodhan of dhatri has to be done in such cases and uh, specially below chil- uh, 12 years of children should be advised the dis- uh, medicines in divided doses they can't have whole uh, equal quantity of medicines like adults so it should be given in divided doses okay and uh, the special point of kshirapa children is we can give the medicine through uh, mother how means we can make the paste of medicine and we can apply for the nipple of a breast so uh, while uh, baby sucking the nipple for the breast milk while feeding the medicine will go into the uh, baby it is one of the way easiest way to give medicines for the kshirapa children or uh, and also in some cases it it can be applied for kshira annada also uh, till the baby have breast milk we can apply this uh, plan for uh, giving the medicine for the children and there are several hidden diseases in children caused by grahas uh, such grahas is nothing but the infectious diseases such cases can be treated by yukti vapashraya as well as daiva vapashraya chikitsa it is one of the way of treating the children so this was the principles of treating the children so this was the knowledge about how uh, we should treat a children especially what all types of diseases uh, which can cause in a children and how we should treat them the main principle for treating the children uh, next in second part of this uh, uh, samanya chikitsa siddhanta we will see how uh, the types of medicines how we can give what all medicines we can give in a children and what is the way of examination of a uh, child for diagnosing the correct disease we'll see in next part okay thank you